Welcome to another video. My name is Jasper and what we're going to be covering today is how to create the parallax effect in Webflow. So it's real simple, it takes about 30 seconds if that. So you can grab a new div block, put it above all the sections that you want it to be on and then also just below the body, let's give it a name. Let's call it parallax background. Oh, can I spell? Who knows? There we go. Now we're going to want to give it a hundred percent width and then also a hundred percent height because it needs to cover the whole screen when a user goes onto it. Now position is going to be fixed because we don't want it to move and we also want it to be full. Make sure you select that. Now it is set to auto for the Z index but we're going to make sure that we select it anyway just in case. Better safe than sorry. Now we're going to go to the image side. Now we need to select an image so I've got one preset here. So there we go. Now a lot of the time you're going to need a gradient and it's because it's going to the image and the text will sort of combine a little bit too much. So let's see if we can get an automatic one. There we go. As you can see the text is now a bit better on the image. And there you have it. Within a few about 30 seconds we managed to create the parallax effect within Webflow. And it works across mobile devices. So you can see that here. Awesome. Now there is one thing just a tip there will be times when your sections will be behind the image. Now you need to make sure that they're set to relative because if they're not set to relative, they will not show on top of the image itself. But thanks for watching the video. Um, if you like the content, feel free to give me a subscribe and a like. And yeah, more videos will be coming soon for quick tutorials with Webflow. Thanks for watching.